good evening everyone uh, in this lecture we are going to discuss the basics of the network theory so in this lecture and the continuous uh, few lectures we will discuss the basics in network theory so the very basics are uh, we need to know what we mean by charge current energy and voltage right when we are discussing about charge always we have to think about a suppose an atom is there right so atom so in atom there will be a, a nucleus which is having some positive charge so nucleus and this nucleus will have the protons which are positively charged positively charged i mean positively charged ions now the equal and opposite charge will be there in valence suppose it is having positive charge like 2 so 2 units of positive charge so equal and opposite means there should be negative charge that is due to the electrons that is negatively charged electrons will be there in the outer orbits or we can say in generally valence electrons so in a neutral atom suppose suppose this is a neutral atom so in the neutral atom whatever the positive charge in the nucleus will be equal to the negatively charged electrons in the valence valence electrons right in a valence orbit so that is about the charge so <coughs> so uh, we already discussed this a uh, negatively charged electron means so the electron charge is denoted by the q so generally it is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs so we have to remember this that is electron charge always will be 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb we will use this charge in edc ac etc right so we have to remember this uh, what do you call the value for the electron ch charge that is generally it is so negatively charged so so we have to represent by minus q generally or we can say minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb right so if it is a for a positively charged so it will become plus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb now so why we are discussing about this one is suppose if there is a conduct conductors material so somewhere suppose like a aluminium copper uh, gold etc so it is a made up of so many number of atoms aluminium atoms so in each atom we will have depending on the atomic number so what is the positive charges uh, at the nucleus depending on that what is the negatively charged electrons in the outer layers or outer orbits right so that is about the charge now next what to mean by current so remember current the phenomenon of transferring a charge from one point to another point right so this is generally is called electric current now can we say suppose there is an uh, uh, conductor like this suppose the randomly motioning is happening due to this uh, the electrons are moving randomly so it is not con uh, conduct a current right so to flow a current suppose if i take a conductor this electron should flow from one point to another point and with a proper directions as well as the some it should uh, pass through some cross-sectional area cross-sectional area within a proper time with or we can say with the time right suppose this is the electrons which are moving from this point to this right uh, point and it, so they when they are moving or when they are crossing some cross-sectional area within a specified time so that is actually current so you cannot go for randomly motioning in the conductor that is not conducted by any current right but whenever it is moving from one point to another point with a specified time so that is is generally making a current right so that is in the equation form we can write like this i is equal to dq by dt right so the charge or we can say the rate of the rate of charge motion right 
in a cross sectional area in a cross sectional area is constitute a current i and what are the units for i is so generally dq by dt measured in amperes right in mks si units so the units are like a i is equal to amperes now <coughs> Now we have to discuss about uh, one more point here. So we have discussed Q is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. That means in one coulomb charge, how many number of electrons will be there is nothing but 1 by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 9 with approximately 6.24 into 10 to the power 18 electrons will be there in one coulomb charge, right? Now when these electrons are moving in a uh, cross-sectional area that means within a unit time so that means to flow one ampere current the one ampere current so 6.24 into 10 to the power 18 electrons should move in per unit time right so that is one ampere current is flowing right so when the 6.24 into 10 to the power electrons are moving across a cross-sectional area within unity time so that is we can say one ampere current is flowing in that particular uh, conductor or uh, at that time right now this is about the charge and the current now so we can go for one more thing so we have seen the i is equal to dq by dt right if i if i want to find the dq that is i into dt so if I want to find the total charge is happening from minus infinity to infinity, so we need to integrate from minus infinity to t and i dt, right? In a particular uh, uh, operation or a particular experiment, if I know the current, now we can find the charge accumulating or charge transferring from the minus infinity time to present instantaneous time, right? So this is we can find the charge also. Sometimes we make it question find some charge across any element etc so we have to use this expression so remember this expression also right so the next point here is we need to find the law of converse conservation of charge so what generally the law of conservation of charge is charge cannot be created nor destroyed so that is a the law of conservation of charge that means it can be moved from one location to another location so it cannot be like stored somewhere suppose the charge is moving from here to in this location and this q should be go out of this location so that is like law of conservation of charge so which cannot be accumulated in this region or in this point right whatever the charge is coming to this point it should the charge should leave from this see, outer outer out of this cross-sectional area whatever so that is the law of conservation of charge so it cannot be created nor destroyed so it only transferable right so that is the law of conservation of charge right the next point or next uh, uh, thing we need to discuss is energy <clears throat> so what is this energy again say the law of conservation of energy is energy neither created again it is not can nor neither created nor destroyed right it only transfer one it, it, we can only make one form to another form right so that is a only the law of conservation of energy so suppose we are having some mechanical energy and it can be transformed to electrical energy right so that is a law of conservation of energy that is so it can be transformed to one form to another form right it may be mechanical it may be chemical right and to the electrical energy etc so so energy cannot be destroyed or not created so it only can be transformed to one form to another form that is mechanical to electrical chemical to electrical or the opposite directions right so that is the energy or we can say law of conservation of energy the next one is 
the voltage right so this is also a very important uh, uh, concept we need to remember is the voltage voltage is can be defined by the work the work done per unit charge or the energy the energy lost to move a unit charge right or suppose you are working on a different uh, operation so if you are wasting some energy to move something so that is generally in the form of electric or uh, circuit theory we will say the voltage v so v is equal to work done per unit charge is nothing but voltage and here the the work done or energy or energy is measured in the joules right and the q is we know that it is measured in coulombs right coulombs and the voltage we measure in volts right so this is the voltage definition that is work done per unit charge or we can say to move one unit charge what is the work done we need to do that is the voltage required right so so energy r work so measured in joules q anyway we know the coulombs and v measured in volts right now if i go for differential uh, work differential energy differential uh, charge so the voltage v is equal to dw by dq right so this is also can be right for the voltage right so it's like we can say this is like instantaneous and this is like right uh, the differentiation right so some uh, if you want to move some uh, differential charge and we need to do the some differential work so that is measured by in volts so we can say dv also but we can measure like this now suppose if i multiply the dw by dq that is work done per unit time and dq by dt is nothing but so dw by dq is nothing but v and dq by dt is nothing but v i mean i so if i cancel these two so dw by dt is nothing but v into i and it can be represented by the power p so this is the power p and measured in watts right <coughs> now so what is the definition of power and energy so this one also very important see this is the energy or work done per unit time suppose you are having so much energy and how much energy you are wasting for a particular time to do one work so that is is called power right so work done per unit time so energy in this in energy is nothing but this some from very infinite past to present time how much energy you are having that is different right so minus infinity to present time you will have some energy so depending on your situations suppose if you take practically in a human so you will have so much energy so because of his uh, a way of uh, living or a way of uh, taking uh, some foods depending on that you'll, different people will have different energy right but to do particular work we need to spend that energy for some time right so that is the power p so work done per unit time for a particular work how much you energy lost per depending on the how much time you uh, spend the energy on the particular work so that is uh, generally is called power right so so we know so we can um, have some more expression so p is equal to dw by dt this work done per unit time so if i want what is the energy required or what is the energy from uh, infinite past to present time so i can make it as like this so if i integrate again so i will get w is equal to minus infinity to t into p into dt so this is the total energy present in the so uh, any element or any uh, different uh, uh, it may be any anything so 
may be human also so what is the energy you are having from the past uh, time to the present time right so generally in network theory we will talk out about the uh, the elements right inductor capacitor and the resistors right so this is some basics about the uh, uh, the voltage current as well as the charge from the conservation of charge so etc right so in the next lecture we will see some more basics about the network theory right